Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science, and in this video I'd like to work on finding the LCM and the GCF of three or more numbers. Okay, The LCM is always a number, think of multiplying, is a number either equal to or larger than the number in the set of numbers you're looking for. And the greatest common factor, a factor, is always equal to or smaller than the numbers in your set. So let me go ahead and show you my technique. We're, let's begin with 24, 2, and 4. And so my technique is I draw a box underneath, and a lot of people call this the ladder technique. I did not invent it, but it's called the ladder technique. And then you find a number that will divide into all three numbers equally. And so I know 2 will go into that. 2 goes into 24 12 times. 2 goes into 2 1, and 2 goes into 4 2 times. I then draw another box underneath, and I know the only number that will multiply into these three is 1. So I can write a 1 here. And so then for the greatest common factor, you just multiply straight down. 2 times 1 is 2. So the GCF is going to be 2 on this particular problem. Okay. Now to find the LCM when you have three problems, uh, you've got to look at it a little bit different. You've got to add to it. And you try to look for two numbers that will divide evenly into each other. It pairs. And so I know 2 will go into 12. So I'm going to write 2 on the outside. 2 goes into 12. 6. And then it does not go into 1. And if it will not go into the number, you bring the number down as is. And then 2 goes into 2 one time. Okay, so now I do not have a pair that will divide into each other number other than one. So at this point, I multiply what's on the outside and think of it like an L. See how that's an L, the outside. So 2 times 2 is 4, and then 4 times 6 is 24. Okay, so therefore, uh, again, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 6 is 24. So the LCM is equal to 24 okay let's work another example maybe this will help a little bit we have 18 8 24 i'm going to first find the gcf uh two will go into that two goes into 18 9 it goes into 8 4 and 24 12 at this time i do not have a number that will divide into all three evenly so it's one so again i multiply straight down two times one is two so the GCF is equal to 2. Now I check carefully, are there any numbers that will, now, are there any pairs of numbers that will divide into each other? And yes, there is. 4 will go into 12. So I'm going to write 4 on the outside, draw a line underneath. And so now 4 will not go into 9, so I bring the 9 straight down. 4 goes into 4 one time, and 4 goes into 12 three times. Okay, I shouldn't have drawn that there. Now I have another pair, so I'm going to draw a line on the outside. 3 will go into 9 three times. 3 will not go into 1, so I'll bring it down, and 3 goes into 3, 1. So at this time, I am finished. So I now multiply 2 times 4, which is 8. 8 times 3, which is 24. And 24 times 3 is equal to 72. So is the 72 is the LC. Okay, again, I did the L, okay, I looked for pairs, and I divided it until there were no longer pairs that could divide into each other other than one, okay, and so there it is, and then 2 times 4 is 8, 8 times 3 is uh, 24, and 24 times 3 is 72, okay, and finally, let me work one other example, and that is 14, 10, and 18, 14, 10, 18, I then, let's find the GCF, and I'm going to write it over here so I don't make a mess like I did last time. Okay, what goes into, I know 2 goes into that. 2 goes into 14, 7. 2 goes into 10, 5. And, and then we go, we'll go into 18, 9 times. And then at this point, it looks like we have a, the only number that will go into it again is 1. So 2 times 1 is 2, so the GCF is 2. Okay. That was pretty straightforward. Now, let's see if we can't find the LCM. So, uh, at this point, there are no pairs that will divide into each other. So, what we do, if we're at that point, again, we multiply the L. 
okay? So we're going to multiply 2 times 1, and I'm going to write this out this time so it makes some sense. So we have 2 times 1 times 7 times 5 times 9, and then we'll start multiplying. And the reason being is there were no pairs that would divide into each other, okay? So it's a little bit trickier with three numbers. Just be careful of that. Okay, and then when you multiply 2 times 1, that's 2, and then 2 times 7 is 14. 14 times 5 is 70, and 70 times 9 is 630. So the LCM is 600, whoops, not LM, the LCM is 630. Hope that helped. The shortcut will help in finding the LCM and the GCF of three numbers.